How the heck do these go together? Hey guys, so in today's video, you are going to witness me putting together my very first wooden puzzle. Now I'm gonna be honest here, I have some conflicting thoughts about these because when I first saw them, I was like, oh my God, these are absolutely amazing. The pieces are like so intricate, so beautiful. And then it's like, well, how do these go together? What do I do? How do I even start something like this? Now hit that like button if you're a fan of wooden puzzles. And let me know down below, what is your favorite wooden puzzle brand? So considering that not only am I, I, I am excited about trying it out, but I'm also quite terrified. I figured the best puzzle set to start with this, you know, first time wooden puzzle journey would be this particular one that was sent to me by Kathy S. And this one I believe she says she got from Timu. And it's a pretty small puzzle count here. I don't know exactly how many pieces are in here, but we got a really cute image of a turtle. And I absolutely love turtles. Turtles are like one of my favorite pets. Aside from frogs, I love frogs too. But anyways, let's get back on the topic here. Now, with it being a very small puzzle in general, I mean, I kind of feel like this is the best way to introduce myself to this kind of madness. And I have to say, I mean, one of the things that I absolutely love about wooden puzzles so far from, from what I have here is like the piece shapes. Some of these are absolutely adorable. And again, quite terrifying because it's like, how the heck do these go together? Now, obviously I haven't the slightest clue how long this is gonna take me to kind of even figure out how to go about starting it. Now, who knows, I might end up putting this together fairly quickly because you know, it's a small puzzle count or you know, I just might end up pulling my hair out and just never wanting to work on wooden puzzles again. I don't know. But I'm sure either way is going to make for a very interesting experience. Now, if I end up being quite successful with this particular set and it takes me less time than I think it will, then I'm kind of considering also starting on the owl set that was also sent to me by Kathy S. And again, I'm not sure what the puzzle count is for this, but this one is obviously a lot more pieces than the turtle. Honestly, I don't know if you're actually meant or if you are even able to sort these kind of things. I haven't the slightest clue. Okay, I need to stop getting ahead of myself here. I think I'm, I'm going a little overboard here. Let me focus on one thing at a time. Let's start with the turtle first. Let's see how long this is gonna take me. And if I feel pretty brave enough at the end of this one, we're gonna go after that owl and then we'll really see what I think to wooden puzzles. You know guys? Let me put on my big girl pants and let's get started. All right, so let's open this first one up here because, you know, we got to start small first before we start jumping into the bigger set. So here is the reference image that the little set comes with. So that is really good. And obviously it's the, the, the puzzle itself is not this big. So let's put these pieces out and let's see how these are like. Now I know I'm flipping these the other way, but I mean, I just kind of want you to get an idea here. You can kind of see it better against the table color, but look at these piece shapes. This is amazing. Now look, you do have your like animal shaped pieces here, which is, this is wild to me, honestly, and I'm already dropping them. And you do have kind of like the non-animal shapes here as well. Now they look like they do have a little bit of a glossy finish to them, but it doesn't look too intense. Honestly, the colors on these pieces are amazing. The colors are not bleeding into each other, at least from what I'm seeing on these pieces so far. It looks absolutely fantastic. And they're so cute. Now I know I've said this a million times already, but we have a small puzzle count here, but I still feel like this is gonna be a beast of a set to put together. Now again, I am both nervous and excited because this is a whole new world to me. Oh boy, I don't even know how to go about starting this, but you know what? I'm never gonna get this one finished if I don't finally get started. So let me stop procrastinating and let's get busy here. Here's what I did so far in terms of trying to start this. 
I did my best to kind of group certain pieces together according to like their color patterns. And as you can see here, I like have all these kind of similar pieces. These over here, these light green ones, we have the reddish orangey ones, purpley and so on. So this is kind of like how I'm figuring is gonna be, I guess you can say the best way for me to start. So I don't know, hopefully this works. Hopefully this gives me kind of like a, a good head start. So let's continue and see if I can figure uh, this out. Oh, I think I figured out the first piece. Oh, look at that. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, I put those three together fairly quickly. This seems promising. This is the turtle's head. There you go. Look at that. We got the head done. Oh, this is exciting. All right, let's continue. And quite honestly, I'm glad that I kind of separated or sorted, I should say, the pieces the way I did. I feel like it definitely gave me a great head start and made me feel very optimistic for the rest of the completion process. So if you ever feel like you're stuck trying to figure out how to go about starting something like this, I highly recommend sorting it this way. Try to group the pieces according to the colors or the patterns because it could really give you that jump start you need to get going. I'm really happy with my progress so far. But one thing I am noticing is that these kind of fall apart pretty darn easily so you have to be super gentle on this but so far i'm gonna be honest i am quite enjoying this so let's continue yeah overall the hold wasn't that great it's very loose sometimes if you nudged it in the slightest or touched one of the nearby pieces the wrong way while placing another one in it would just come apart but it's not surprising really when you're dealing with shapes like these and some of them are actually really small most of the tiny ones were the pieces that filled in the gaps between a lot of the animal shapes. They would fit into each other in the most interesting ways. You have to be delicate with this. And I'm sure it's also because it was a smaller count set. So there wasn't that much there to keep hold together anyways. And I was quite amazed at the cut really and how precise it is on all those tiny thin edges and grooves. I became more and more fascinated with this the more I pieced these amazing shapes together. This puzzle took me about 38 minutes to complete and I was shocked I did it so quickly. I'm really glad I did this set first. Now I'm not very well versed in the world of wooden puzzles but I thought the quality of the piece was nice and solid and the color print was great. Yeah, the hold sucked, but I think this may be a common thing with these kinds of puzzles. It was easy, and most importantly, fun. And it was a great way to introduce myself to this kind of challenge. So if you're looking to start your first wooden puzzle adventure, look for a small set like this one. I'm super proud of myself. I did it. Now I feel brave enough to do the next one. Let's try out the owl. All right, so once again, I kind of did my best to try to group together anything with like similar colors and patterns. So as you can see, we kind of have like this pattern going on here. We have kind of like these colors going on in the same area. Um, this area here is kind of a bit of a mess, but you know, I can kind of pinpoint ones that are like a darker red tone. We have the orange tones and anything that has any other colors similar to each other along with the red are kind of like uh, scattered about. We have some of these here that are very similar and Obviously we have the purpley blue tones, the blue tones, and then this particular pattern here. So is this the absolute greatest way to sort wooden jigsaw puzzles? Absolutely not, I have no idea. This is, this is what I noticed worked for me with the turtle. So I'm trying it again and see if I can, you know, be as quick with this one as I was with the turtle, which is most likely not the case because obviously this is a lot more pieces. But anyways, you never know, right? So I'm actually really excited to put this one together because I was like super happy putting that one all together. So let's see how this one turns out and how much more difficult is this one gonna be? We shall see. All right, let me shut up. Let's continue. 
And what do you know, it gave me a great head start again. I think I'll continue starting out my wooden puzzles this way. And yeah, I know, sorting is not for everyone, but you know what? It works for me, so I'll stick with it. Now both sets did have a very slight glossy finish to them and I had to change my lighting or sitting angle at times to get a clear look at whatever I was working on. But I didn't feel like it was enough to take away from the whole experience. Surprisingly, the owl pieces held on way better together compared to the turtle. And I don't know why, maybe that was because there were more pieces involved or what? I, I don't know, again, I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what. If I just so happened to put two of the wrong pieces together, it was a bit difficult to take them back apart. You'd risk messing it all up. But what I really loved about this particular owl set were the colors. They had this deep, darker tone to them. And the more this all came together, the more I loved it. The colors just seemed so rich, and I felt like it really looked nice against the color of my puzzle table. It was beautiful. I was blown away by the finished image. This puzzle took me about two hours to complete, and I wasn't surprised that there were a lot more pieces to play around with, and I was still getting acquainted with this type of challenge. This was fun, and it's a shame I can't really save them, but that's okay. That means I could work on them again. And I'm surprised to say that because I was really timid in the beginning. But now I can say that I am very much looking forward to working on more wooden jigsaw puzzles. So like I said before, if you are new to the world of wooden puzzles, start with something small and try out my sorta sorting method if you have a hard time figuring out how to get started. It helped me. Now, I also have two more sets, one of them actually being a Wentworth that I plan to work on soon. But let me know if you know of any similar brands out there. Thank you again, Kathy, for sending me these two awesome sets and for finally getting me started on my wooden puzzle adventures. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so that you can see me start up on other new puzzle adventures and hear what random stuff I have to say about them. Well guys, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.